Ugh, the Nosita house, what a freaking dump. You know, when they shipped that loser off to boot camp, I was hoping they'd keep her there. But then, she had to come back and ruin her summer, and now she's trying to be all edgy, like she just had to find new ways to annoy people. So you've been saying for the last few months, can we just get back to trick-or-treating already? Not until I take care of business here. You wanted me to take you trick-or-treating. I needed you to take me. Well, whatever. I told you I'd take you on one condition, and this is it right here. <laughs> if that stupid camp can't fix that screw loose, then I guess it's up to me to set her straight. This is the first time in putting her back in her place. Think fast, loser! <laughs> oh my gosh, you suck at this! Give me a break! It's been a while since my trick-or-treating day, so I'm kinda rusty. What do you kids think you're doing? You two shouldn't be here, let alone try to vandalize this house. You're toying with forces beyond your comprehension. That's the old Nosita place, which is inhabited by a demon who cursed this neighborhood. Oh, it's just that crazy museum guy. What a pain. All this time we're wasting here, I could be scoring more candy. Don't you get it? There really is a demon living in that house. That Nosita girl was sent to a camp, but she never came back. The demon was waiting, waiting for an unsuspecting kid to water off so it could devour her. Then it wore her skin to take her place. And when it got back, it brainwashed her poor mother into believing that it's her actual daughter. Ha! <laughs> yeah, right. Sounds like you fell for one of Loser's dumb stories. Skin-wearing demons. What a load. It's not a load. The demon is real. I saw it myself. Huh? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no! It hurt us. It sees us. I think you angered it. No, it's looking at me. Please, I was trying to stop them. I didn't. I wasn't trying to. But Misery's spirit is still alive! We shouldn't forget that! I don't want her spirit! I want her and you murdered her! No, I didn't! Who did? She just died! Slipped away! Slipped away? No, you murdered my misery! Hmm. I could get to like this holiday. <laughs> Play safe now. We don't need Braxis chipping another tooth. No, you guess, Lollipop! Yay! Make sure you find Azura's magic missile when you're done playing. So cute! Hmm? Aw, so cute. Hmm. Oh, jeez, it has been such a long day. It is so ardent within this building right now. Oh, damn it! <laughs> Ahem. I surely hope this muggy atmosphere doesn't mess up my cotton candy hair. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Luz, I noticed you there and I just couldn't help. <laughs> Luz? Oh, sweet Titan, I killed her! <laughs> Yeah! Break that human! No way! Uh, Squirtle! Let's be on! Concur! Whoop, 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 whoop! Come on, come on! Whee! Get her! Whoop, whoop. Go for it, Luz! <laughs> Pace yourself, Luz! Focus on keeping your wrist straight and watch for an opening! Uh, right! I knew this guy would be tough, but it's like trying to move a huge boulder! Uh. <laughs> ah! Whoa! Huzzah! Yeah! Score one more for Letissa! You did great, Luz. No one can ask any more of you. Thanks, but I still couldn't get what we came for. Now what can we do? It's alright. We'll find another way. You're too stubborn to give up. Here. But... but I lost. Indeed, you hast been bested by me, and yet thy courage and temperance outshines that of most Letissians. Thy spirit has moved my cynical heart, thus I shall gladly concede defeat. And so, poor arrangement, Sir B. Lyle Fuzzikins is now yours. No, he's yours. Oh, wow, really? Happy two-week anniversary, Amity. Oh, MT, I love him! Thank you so much, Luz. I'm gonna bake you so many fairy pies when I get home. <laughs> so does that make me an awesome girlfriend? Oh, please, you always were. Well, thanks a bunch, mister. See you around. And since when are you so monogamous? I've never known you to concede to anyone, let alone an actual human. Hmm? I actually gotta get serious there for a moment. Well played, Luz Nosida. <laughs>
Ah, YouTube, how I miss thee. What the heck, Ada? I thought we were rationing the lines of Lou's Wonder Rectangle so she could call her mom. Oh, would you relax? I've been using portals long enough to know that a little Titan's blood goes a long way. Lou's will have more than enough for calls and a round trip home. Besides, you can't tell me that you're not interested in the artistic strides YouTube has made these past months. Wait, he slammed his what in the car door? Now, if you'll excuse me, my brain is overdue for some well-deserved rotting. And yoink! Hey! You wanna see something really brain melting? Lose one showed me this powerful tool called a search engine. Just type in the name of what you wanna see. Clickety click click. And boom! It conjures up images, news, gossip, anything you wanna know about what you're looking for. Ah, so it's the human equivalent of a scrying spell. That really is interesting. And humans created some of these images of you? You just might be a real king after all. Yeah, I know Luz doesn't speak very highly of other humans, but there are clearly a few that seem to have their act together. Okay, let's see what we find when we type in E D A C. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Ugh. Dang, this is some quality work. I'm looking good in these. You were right, King. Some humans really do know their stuff. Huh? What is an Ada Milia? Wait a sec, is that Luz's mom in those images with you? Looks that way. Some of these are kind of cute. I don't know. Something about this feels wrong. But, eh, seems innocent enough. We're just hanging out, holding hands, uh, hugging, kissing, and... Dang! Oh, sweet Titan! Why was I cursed with eyes? So, is there some way to save these images? Ada, that's Luz's mom in those images! What's all this about my mom? Nothing! Ah. Much later that day... Uncle, the owl lady told me. I think I found out something really useful for your curse. Oh, sorry. Am I interrupting? You just told me to visit you in the evening. And it's evening, so I'm visiting. <laughs> oh, don't worry. You're not interrupting anything. The portal doesn't seem to want to work anyway. I can't promise anything but another failure, but would you like to take a closer look? Uh, are you kidding? Sure. Wow, you've improved a lot of stuff since I last helped you. No way it still doesn't work. Ugh, been nothing but a disappointment, no matter how many times I tried. I've spent the whole day making adjustments, but it just won't... <gasps> Whoa! Looks like your adjustments weren't in vain after all. What do you think made it work in the end? Did you change something in the key? Did you add more pipes? Or did you... Uh, uncle? Uncle? Uncle! You're acting weird. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, sorry, dear. I did not mean to make you worried. I just got caught up in old memories, that's all. Would you like to go in? The portal is stable enough. I mean, if it's safe, then I'd love to. Uh, but are you sure the rain still doesn't boil there? Well, I believe there's only one way to find out. <laughs> Well, what do you say? The raindrops are cold, just like in your stories. And the trees are green too. They look weird, but cool. No wonder you like this place so much. Even though you've been here like just a couple of times. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Hello, Hoot Hoot! Hootie, what are you doing here? Hoot, Ada wants you to buy something for after school. Just go to the market and buy three bottles of... Hoot! And also two bags of goo! What's going on? I'm scared. I have no idea. Gosh. We must stop them from reaching the portal. Arrgh! Amity! Are you okay? There are too many of them. Luz, go through the portal now. I'll destroy it from this side. It's the only way. But then I won't be able to see everyone here again. I won't be able to see you. No, I'll stay. Let's blow this portal up. What? But what about your family? Your life on Earth? There's no way I'll leave you behind, Yemeni. You will stay for me? Yes. Whatever happens, we will face it together. <laughs> Lose. Yemeni. Ah! Ah! So, sorry, I thought they were finished. I love you, Luz. I love you, Amity. 
Who is that? Mm, script. King? Yeah, I wrote that part. You can thank me later. Mm -mm. Wow, Lou's in a bardic competition. There's no way she's gonna win. You are my fire. The one desire. Believe when I say I want it that way. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me why. All right, it's catchy. Oh, ballads these days. <laughs> you picked the wrong time to pick a fight with me. <sighs> Finally, some action. Those two are anything but oracles. They tricked us. <laughs> and I hate being played for a fool. Take care of Ada. Stop giving me orders. Dumb kids. Aldi, do you want to stop using fire in the middle of a wood? Good, ignore me. The intervention of a supervisor isn't permitted. Ah! I suggest you give me the pendant. Unless you want to sing for the children's choir of St. Epidermis. Thank you for your gift, Alador. Great choice like every year. Do you like mine, dear? I love you with all my butt. I would say hard, but my butt is bigger. Ooh. I appreciate your intention to create toys for the child so that they don't turn people into puppets anymore, but a toy central? Seriously, Alador, we had three kids. You should know what kids like. What do you mean it vibrates too? <laughs> good, good job, Alador. But I think I need to check it better to avoid her problems. Do you also feel the earthquake? Are you okay? It's kilometers tall and his mighty roar echoed everywhere. Who, who chased me for days trying to eat me? I never heard of such a monster. That's because it probably doesn't exist. I'm not lying! Didn't say you were. Simply hunger and fatigue may have confused you. And you know about confusion, Mr. Woman with tentacle for legs. Just like I said, I hadn't eaten for days and we lived in a sewer. Anyways, did you beat the other team? Of course, who do you think you're talking to? Say hi to our victory. Any problem here? Nope. Good job, Lilith. I would say that now we can resume our journey. Thanks for saving me, Aldi. Again. I certainly didn't do it for you, but to prevent some idiot from killing us all. Although I have to say, I find it amusing how you managed to make them lose their minds. <laughs> no more sweets for you today. If you want a snack, eat some fruits. Hmm. That's not funny, Alador! Oh yeah, right there. Yes, two is definitely better than one. Are we doing right, Mama Dahlia? You are softer than Ada. Yes, very good. Lifting those puppets destroyed my back. I really needed this. Hmm. At least you differ a little from the rampant mediocrity. You know, Oldie, you're not so bad. Maybe you deserve a t-shirt too. I made some for the whole group. No thanks, I care about my nose. Did you ever thought about using a deodorant? A true hero. She have said that. I don't smell. You don't stink, and I won't burn the shirt when you give it back to me. Tell that to my nose. In my family, we sweat a lot. Please, all day walking in the woods and no sweat. I changed my mind. No shirt for you. Hey, look. Oh no, I'm crying. The river ends with a waterfall. And not only that. Wow. Told you. Yes, yes, all very nice. My body is ready. Rain, will you be able to get us dinner? Darius, go help them. The rest of us will set up tents near that tower. Mama Dahlia, King keeps saying that babies are born from eggs, but I know that's not true. You had other children before me. How were they born? Uh, they broke my vagina. Thirteen stitches. Ah! Uh! I know human school just started today, but I miss Luz already. I wish I could have gone with her to protect her. I know what you mean, Amity. I wouldn't have minded substituting for her to see Masha, I mean, to see if Masha got suspicious at Luz's behavior. <laughs> Luz seems so anxious about going to that school. Will she really be okay there? 
I wish I could say for certain, but she's been blaming herself for not getting your portal working. Frankly, she could use the distraction. I had a thought about that. I remember hearing of a Halloween festival coming in a couple of months. It seemed to involve costume, and I thought I could go as Hecat to her Azura. Oh, Karino, that's so thoughtful. I'm sure Luz would love that. <laughs> well, to be honest, I always thought that I was more of an Azura than her. But I have no problem relinquishing the role if it means that Luz is happy. Happy <laughs> Azura, really? Wait, why is that so funny? Well, Azura's the good guy and Hecat is a reformed villain, right? Luz definitely fit the good guy role more consistently out of the two of you. He's got a point. I mean, Azura would have reacted the way you did when Luz first came to Hex Guys disguised as an abomination. And let's not forget what happened after when you had Principal Bomb. Try to dissect Luz. Yes, I'm aware of the whole fake abomination incident. Wait, Luz already told you? No, Amity told me all about it herself. Hmm. In fact, Amity decided to open up about her entire history with Luz during your second night here. For reasons I can't understand, she was very... But I didn't know she was human at first and I feel horrible for that! I feel which is level for my parents' behavior and actually burning Willow's mind and letting her find her in my place in! Forthcoming. For what it's worth, Amity, I always thought one of the most heroic things you can do is confront the mistakes you make in life and learn from them to do better. That kind of growth is the common ethos of all protagonists. Y you really think so? I mean, I don't know much about Azura, but take another popular fictional series like, say, I don't know, Cosmic Frontier? Captain Avery was extremely confrontational and made a lot of mistakes before he grew into his role as a show's hero. Or, you know, so I'm told. <laughs> Still, Lou seems more the heroic type. It's not like she ever did anything to you, Amini. Well, there was a time or two when she kind of made things difficult. But we worked through it all, and I don't think she'd want me to reopen old wounds. Amity, I know you're holding back for Luz's sake, but being honest means no omissions. Well, she did help Willow cheat in abomination class, which cost me my top student badge. Then there was a witch's duel when she embarrassed me in front of a crowd. She also vandalized the library workout with, with Ed and M, then helped them to steal my diary. She almost got me killed by my favorite children's book character, almost got my siblings eaten by a slither beast, cost me my job at the library, and cost me the Bonesboro's brawl con- and cost me the Bonesboro Brawl Championship. Still, like I said, we put it behind us, just like Azura and Hiccat did. Luz practically had her own redemption arc during her time in the Demon Realm. Maybe, but Luz also kept better company than you used to. I mean, you were forced to, but look at the rest of us. There's no <laughs> villains in this crowd. <laughs> okay, no. I'm not perfect by any means, but no way do any of you get to judge me with impunity. You use Luz to cheat in school after you f after you flung her around in a blind rage. You also got her thrown off a cliff, all because you wanted to show me up the Moonlight Conjuring. You lied to her about her ban from Hexide being lifted so you could show her off to the HAS and got her tossed into the carnivorous detention pit. Oh, you, uh, you heard about that, huh? You literally stole her identity, lied to her mom, tried to throw out her possessions, and to basically supplant her. I mean, of course it sounds bad if you put it that way. And you. Oh, you. So let's just overlook all the atrocities you committed during your tenure as a Golden Guard, which everyone seems eager to do for some reason. Unlike the rest of us, you actively try to kill Luz multiple times. You kidnapped King to force her to kill an innocent Selkie Demis. You also directly threatened her to force me to give up the portal key, hindering her efforts to find her way home. But yeah, I'm the worst for trying to bust her up for cheating before I even know who or what she was. I don't deny the mistakes I've made, and not a day goes by that I don't reflect on the consequences of my actions. But out of all the witches and demons in this room, I can at least say that I'm the only one who never deceived Luz or used her for my own selfish gain. So yeah, I hope you don't hurt yourselves falling off your high horses. At least I don't stomp on King's Cupcake. Dog! <laughs> 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 Our baby is freezing to death. Do something! We have another kid? Someone will have to pay for the sudden drop in temperatures and for the low quality winter clothes. Alador, we have to buy more performing clothes and call our lawyer. Do you like your goo mittens, baby? Mittens, 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 mittens. Now, because of Adalia, we have to go to sleep. To be honest, both of you are to blame. And then in any case, it's better to rest for tomorrow. It's her who talks back every time I said something. It was literally you who did it, while I was defending Lilith. 
Please don't put me in the middle of your in your diatribes. I'm just saying that Miss Know-It-All is getting on my nerves, okay? We all understood this. Why is it okay with you? She does what she wants and even lectures me. Live without anyone, you too can do whatever you want. I definitely will one day. What if it's not as good as you imagine? <gasps> What's happening? No, nothing Let's sleep. That is better. Leave him alone, Ada. You know how oracles are. I put out the fire and... What are you two doing? We were waiting for you to go to sleep. I'm still not convinced to sleep with her. Face it, I'm not sharing the bed with a boy. What's your problem? Isn't that obvious? How can you compare the curves and softness of the female body with the aridity of a male? The hardness of her body is unbearable. Oh, it's not bad once you get used to it. Put her down. Never! Are you sure you want to use one of Ada's branded t-shirts to sleep? Hmm? Certainly. And I also took yours, which is the largest and covers me well all over. So it will be more pleasant for you to wear in the future. Uh, what are you saying? Don't you realize that you are a girl? Do not complain about the reactions that are sure to happen. You must be more cautious in your attitudes or you will suffer the consequences. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I slept with Perry until I was 13, so I'm certainly not shocked by male reactions. Second, it's your problem how you react, not mine. Third, you two being idiots who react as such to my will is anything but unpleasant. Are you crazy or is this an oracle things? Maybe I'm both. Ugh, I hate kids. Ugh. Hi, friend. Ah! Ah! What's going on? Where's Steve? Is it morning already? Magic exists, I tell you. I'm collecting all the evidence. Sure, like that crazy old man. Don't compare me to a nutty conspiracy theorist. I am using a scientific method supported by unequivocal data. Sure, sure. Wish it existed. You could solve anything with it. No, it's not like that. It'll just cause trouble. Uh, you're a strange one. Jade, it's time to go home. You too, Claire. See you tomorrow. I'm home. Pizza tonight! You know, my friend's moms are always with them at the park. Of course. They're helpless children and need to be controlled. Luckily, that's not your case. But I'm a child too. Why don't you take care of me? I'm doing it! Who do you think pays the mortgage for the house, the bills and tuition of your expensive private school? Who works all day to allow you to live to the fullest? But of course, that's not important. Babysitting you at the park, that's the important thing. Why don't you find another parent who does what you want? You wouldn't be the first of my children to not need me anymore. Indeed, why don't you turn me into a doll? It's even easier. Uh, I no longer use my powers. They only cause problems. I want to be better. <sighs> Good luck with that. <clears throat> Are you sure it's appropriate to work here? The kid asked for my presence. But for this, I certainly can not slow down at work. Hard is the life of a single mother. Oh, even with my husband I couldn't delegate, and when I did, it only created disasters. I understand you, my husband is the same. You are an example to all of us. You could say it, but I want to be better. Oh, from today you can also follow the matches. I need to be more involved in my kid life. In fact, I know that without supervision, children could go wrong. Oh, although I'll have to do it while I work. Admirable. It is a pity, however, that this dedication is rewarded by poor performances from the team. But after all, with a coach like that, bah, Sheen is only in the team for the extra credits and not playing. He doesn't even risk getting hurt. Poor performance! No child of mine will have anything less than excellence. What a caring mother. Definitely. Go kids, run. Good job. Go away, Lamar! You smell like weed and failure! Ugh. Alador, get out from under the table. This is not the time for this. Oh, you are here. So is whose? I've been eating leftovers from the garbage for months. Please give me something fresh. I... Sure. Who's the good monster who wants her food? Gah. Months later. Oh, Dahlia, let us pass or you have to deal with me. Very well. Who's the good witch who wants her food? Me. Me. Ada. Guard forever. What's this house here? Given its conditions, it's probably uninhabited for years. Why didn't the Emperor's Coven demolish it? Who knows? Maybe they still use it for some practice. Guess who provided dinner for everyone? Guess who's carrying dinner for everyone? Great job, Rain. I'd say the two of us can clean the fish while the others wash. 
I, I can help you with dinner, and then we'll wash up together. This time, you're the helper, Odalia. I don't want to be near that smell anymore. Alador, no! I hope those two make peace soon. For the good of the team? Because I'm sure Darius is only one who had brought the soap. Scratch, scratch. Why do you keep scratching yourself? You ask me? You said we only share the sleeping bag if I shaved. My bag, my rules. I have no intention of being in contact with your disgusting body hair. Odalia says I'm a furry bear. And with that, I'm leaving. Perry, the water's too high for you here. Don't worry, I can swim. How? Every winter when the temperature rises, the water level in the sewers rose accordingly, sometimes suddenly. Either leer to swim or die. Those two are still arguing? Well... How do you sell out for someone who offers her body to anyone for her own benefit? Odalia doesn't sell herself to anyone. Is it so hard for you to understand that I'm special to her? To her, to everyone, it's so obvious that Alador is special. Alador here, Alador there. If I hear again, someone praising you, I vomit. Uh, what? You're a genius, okay? I understand it, and Odalia was the first to notice it. Hooray to her. It's normal for you two to ignore me now, like everyone else. What are you saying? We're friends. And no one questions your abilities. Please, I can't even use my family's technique. Turn into a lump of goo? It's not so cool. Are you messing with me? What I mean is that you are my best friend, and that will never change. And even if I'm doing better now, it doesn't change who you are. The coolest dude I know. Oh, uh, really? How cute. The two idiots made peace. Now go out and check our camp. Man. Please, stand up! No. So I would say to take advantage of when he goes to sleep to better explore the castle. Understood. Have you finished using my room? The brat doesn't leave me much free time, and I would like to take advantage of it. What the? You are the most deviant people I ever met. And you know who I am. Mommy needs some stress relief. Mm. Hey, Steve, you still haven't told us what you're doing here. I mean, what's a kid like you doing in one of the Emperor's Coven woods? I ran away from home because my parents always fight now. They don't care about me anymore. Nonsense. Odalia, he's just a kid. A dumb kid? Doesn't matter if the parents fight. Have another child or are always busy. They will always think about what is best for the children. That's not always true. Oh, please, Lilith, grow up. It's not like you have experience with parents to be able to talk. Are you really this dumb? <sighs> Why do you keep talking to me like I never had parents? I had a mother, she just died young. And now you get to live as you please while we have to submit to our parents, so quit lecturing us. Or what are you doing, another mess of yours that we'll have to fix? Enough, you two. Hmm. <laughs> Indeed, no more kids for today. You go into your tents and sleep. Actually, we should be autonomous in our test in. In your tents, now. Wow, it has been a long time since I've been in here. Your dad really left his mark on your family's kitchen. All this weird machinery looks like what Liz described as steam grunge, I think. Yeah, a lot of trial and error went into these renovations since he used old abomination parts. Mom was furious when the appliances would attack her. Ed, M, and I got a good laugh out of that, though. Are you sure this part is necessary? I know it's an important part of the aesthetic, but I'm sure Luz would understand if you left it out. <laughs> no doubt she would, but when it comes to Luz, I can't bring myself to accept any half measures. I don't know how long this might take, but my parents won't be back for a few days. You can hang out here for a while if you want. Thanks, but I have wire derby practice in the morning, and it's already getting late. It's okay. Thanks for all your help, and for your company. I really appreciate it. No problem, and thank you for the cute new threads. The next morning. Hold me! What? Oh, it's you. You scared me for a second there. So you want me to get you know who and tell her that you... Ah, well, I'm up, I'm up. Ugh, seriously. Hootie, it's 7 a.m., which is way too late in the evening for all this noise. This better be worth it. Hmm? Hola, Helada. I made something for you. Luz, you've got company. Morning. Can't even enjoy a nice apple blood bender for Titan's sake. Hola, Helada. Amity. I made something for you. I was so worried. You said you'd come by with a surprise last night, but you never showed up. Yeah, sorry about that. This took longer to make than I anticipated. Oh, okay. So, not to bury the letter or anything, but I had to ask, uh, well, 
Don't worry, this recipe is 100% insect free. It's also 100% arachnid free for good measure. <laughs> yeah, I should have been more upfront about my allergies to bugs the other day. No worries, we live and learn. Now then, feast your eyes on this. No way! You actually made SpaghettiOs? Well, with some help and the freshest vegetables, courtesy of Willow, why don't you have a taste? Mmm! Oh my god, Amity! They are better than the real shrub! Hmm, thanks. Someday you'll have to tell me how humans can mass produce these without staying up all night. Actually, how did you put all this together? Wait a minute, did you tie these into O's yourself? No wonder it took you all night to make this. Amity? Mm. Ah, oh, you crazy little tater. You're way too good to me. The way you put it, exorcists here sound like exterminators in the human realm. Yeah, but these guys suck at their jobs, so that wouldn't explain what happened to the school spirits. Maybe they're all possessed students? I noticed that Bosha was unusually mellow today. Bueno tardes, Magdalena. Hola, mi batata. Where have you been just now? Oh, I was just preparing a special human realm recipe I stumbled across the other day. So, prepare your taste pores for the human delicacy known as Ecto Cooler. Who are you gonna call? Uh, huh? Is... isn't it a famous drink in the human realm? This magazine Gus let me indicate that it's quite popular. Boop. Amity, this magazine was made way back in 1989. It's practically a century old. Sorry, Am. I could have sworn this was the issue number. Well, I for one would love to try your drink, no matter how outdated it might be. Yeah! <laughs> here's to my amazing human. And here's to my candy ams. Ding! Mmm, <laughs> this is great ams! Sweet, citrusy, and a slightly sour aftertaste. You sure you weren't a barista in a former life? Hey, Amity, by any chance would the ecto and ecto cooler be short for ectoplasm? Oh, that is kind of a big concern now that you mention it. Huh? I mean it is, but why would that be concerning? It's just that we were talking about the missing school spirits, and then you come out here with a ghost team drink. <laughs> Amity, please tell me you didn't put real life ghosts in a blender or juicer to make this! <laughs> of course not, Luz. Don't be silly. <gasps> oh, avenge me! There's no such thing as a live ghost. So, you finally arrived. I was starting to get bored. Mom, leave her to me and go save her world. What a hero. Are you aiming to win the best parents award? Enough talk, Odalia. Let's fight. I can't ask for better, dear. <laughs> Alador, what a body! Living life in the resistance reduces you like this. You instead? I find you more toned. I had to carry many puppets. Mm. We won! Also, the Collector is now a good kid, and no one will complain about what they have done because he's with us. Elador, slower. Mm? Uh. Uh. <clears throat> what are you doing? I can explain it to you. What's going on? You were fast. It was anything but fast. Dad! <laughs> Mom! Yo, Lily, help me out. What? No. Couldn't you control yourself? You don't want to make her come home with us, do you? If you hadn't cursed me, I wouldn't have lost my arm. Why doesn't Mama Dolly have clothes on? Cool. Do you? Well, she comes home with us and we'll be in happy family. At home, I'll even give you my ass. Dad! Hello, can I come in? Professor Bump. Oh, I mean, Principal Bump. How was the birth? Lots of screaming and crying, and luckily Alidor passed out. I can't believe you were the first to have kids. And who was it supposed to be? The emotional psychotic, the criminal, the narcissist, the one with the mom complex, the one that now only touches their violin, or the two who have lots and lots of fulfilling sex. Um, what are you writing? I am planning the future of my children. Their future? Obviously, now that I'm a mom, I have to take care of them. The best food and educational games, and when they are older, I will choose the most suitable magic tracks, friends, and teachers. Obviously, I will plan everything following their stages of growth, a five-year program and continuous renewal. Don't you think the kids should have the chance to be more free? Mm hmm? Nonsense! 
My children don't need to be free to make mistakes or hurt themselves. I'm there to solve every problem, and I'll always be. Isn't that what a good mother is supposed to do? I am right, R and I. R and I. Yeah, you're right. May I help you with the baby? Sure. Thanks. I really appreciate your help. It can be hard all alone. I'm just looking after a newborn. Not just now, for anything. Hmm. 